The Xiaomi 12 Pro is finally here, and while it packs in the latest flagship chipset from Qualcomm, the most exciting thing about this smartphone is not actually its CPU, but its improved optimizations, which is something that Xiaomi seriously focused on during their launch event. With that said, it's time to put it up against Apple's optimization king, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, in this speed test. The iPhone is rocking Apple's latest A15 Bionic chipset, a run on 5 nanometer process node technology, which has two main cores, both clocked at 3.23 gigahertz, while the Xiaomi is running Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip run on 4 nanometer tech, which only has one main core clocked at 3 gigahertz. The Xiaomi 12 Pro has 12 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM and UFS 3.1 storage, while the iPhone has half that amount of RAM at just 6 gigs and uses LPDDR4X modules, but it does pack in snappier NVMe storage. Both devices have been updated to their latest available software updates, that being iOS 15.2 on the iPhone and the latest MIUI 13 on the Xiaomi. Xiaomi skinned over Android 12. The Xiaomi has a resolution of WQHD plus 1440p, while the iPhone sits somewhere between QHD and Full HD. Both devices make use of dynamic refresh rates, of course ProMotion on the iPhone and auto dynamic refresh rates on the Xiaomi. The Xiaomi now has a new LTPO display, meaning it can refresh between 1 and 120 hertz, while the iPhone can do it between 10 and 120 hertz. I've also made sure to go into Xiaomi's app battery saver options in order to select all 20 apps that will be running through today and mark them as not restricted so that they can be running in the background the whole time. And I've gone into Xiaomi's battery settings and enabled performance mode, which is something lacking on the iPhone. And of course, I've also headed over to the developer options to make sure that all animation scales are set to 1x on the Xiaomi to match that of the iPhone. Round one will be all about boot, fingerprint and face unlock, round two all about initial opening app speed and round three all about RAM management. I'll be using my fingers so to make sure things are accurate, I'll be popping GoPro footage to the bottom left hand corner. I'm extremely excited to see if Xiaomi's new optimizations can hold up against the almighty iPhone. This is Tech Nick and without further ado, let's go. We're going to kick start round one off with a simple boot to see which one can power on quickest and while we do that check out the temperature which we'll compare at the end. The iPhone picked up its first point in round one getting 21 seconds to boot as opposed to 27 on the Xiaomi and going into the actual phone for the first time the iPhone picks up its second point over there and now testing out the fingerprint sensor on the Xiaomi as opposed to the 3D face ID on the iPhone the Xiaomi was faster every single time picking up its first point in round one. Now checking out the 2D face ID on the Xiaomi as opposed to the 3D face ID on the iPhone. The Xiaomi was a tad slower than the iPhone the first time round. The second time round, the iPhone and the Xiaomi were neck and neck, and the third time also neck and neck. So the iPhone picks up its third point just because it won one out of three rounds over there. Moving on to round two over here now, closing off round one with three points on the iPhone as opposed to one point on the Xiaomi, making sure all apps are closed in the background and we connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Going into settings, though it looked like one might have opened it up quicker than the other, the iPhone actually kind of preloads it while it starts opening, as you could see with calculator over there but they all landed up with the same results that of course all being the Xiaomi and the iPhone in this test of course and it did the same thing with the calculator they ended up with the exact same time in order to get the app open with different animations to get there so no point was allocated for the first two system apps over here and going into our third system app which is of course the camera app the iPhone this time around was a smidge quicker than that of the Xiaomi picking up its first point in round two flipping to the selfie cam however the Xiaomi was quicker than that of the iPhone and taking the snap while the iPhone took the photo quicker the Xiaomi saved its gallery quicker so no point was allocated over there opening up our respective gallery or photos app Jumping into that one, the iPhone was a tad quicker and loaded even that photo that we just took and opening up the photo while the Xiaomi actually opened up the photo quicker, the iPhone loaded the page quicker, so no point was allocated that time around. Going into our first third party app, that being Photoshop Express over here. Jumping into that one, the iPhone was quite a bit quicker than that of the Xiaomi picking up its third point. And going into the photo, the iPhone picks up its fourth point. Now we're gonna go ahead and export this with their respective storage, that being UFS 3.1 on the Xiaomi and NVMe storage on the iPhone. Xiaomi's and Android's usually win this, but the iPhone actually said save to gallery at the top of its device screen quicker than it said at the bottom of the Xiaomi screen, now picking up its fifth point and going into Adobe Premiere Rush, a video editing app over here. The iPhone was quite a bit quicker than the Xiaomi, now picking up its sixth point, but going into the actual project, the Xiaomi strikes back, picking up its second point. Now we're gonna be exporting this 4K 25 frames per second video file. It's pretty small, estimated file size is just 21 megs, and we're gonna be compressing it down to 1080p and matching 
switching the frame rate of 25 frames per second, hitting exports. As you can see, bottom right corner, we're gonna stick to real time over here. I'm not gonna speed it up. As you can see, the iPhone is still streaks ahead, even here in 2022, four seconds using that NVMe storage, as opposed to 7.5 seconds using UFS 3.1 storage on the Xiaomi. Now, seven points on the iPhone as opposed to just two points on the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Going into Spotify now, which one can open it up quicker? It is indeed the iPhone 13 Pro Max, now picking up its eighth point with a six point lead over the Xiaomi 12 Pro. And going into Astral VPN, since we need a VPN here in China in order to run through the next set of apps, the iPhone opens that one up quicker, picking up its ninth point, but turning on the actual VPN, the Xiaomi was quicker. It looked like the iPhone was, but there was still a little loading icon at the center of the screen. So the Xiaomi definitely turned it on quicker. Going into Google Chrome, while the iPhone actually opened it up quicker, the Xiaomi loaded the page quicker. So no point allocated over there. The iPhone three times the points in round two, as opposed to the Xiaomi, but going into Facebook over here, the Xiaomi was a tad quicker than that of the iPhone, picking up its fourth point, now narrowing the gap between it and the iPhone, just five points between them. And hopping into our next social media app, which is of course Instagram, going into that one, the iPhone strikes back, now 10 points as opposed to the four points on the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Going into Twitter, our last social media app over here, hopping into that one, this time it is allocated toward the Xiaomi 12 Pro, a smidge quicker than that of the iPhone due to animations. Five points on the Xiaomi as opposed to 10, half the points on the Xiaomi as opposed to the iPhone 13 Pro Max, 10 points. Going into YouTube over here, the Xiaomi this time around picks up its sixth point, opening up the app slightly quicker than that of the iPhone. And going to my channel, however, the iPhone is a tad quicker this time around, now picking up its 11th point, still a five point gap between the two devices. Going into one of my videos, however, the Xiaomi was a bit quicker than that of the iPhone, now picking up its seventh point, 7 over there, no pun intended. And if we can ever close YouTube, we're gonna hop into our next app, which is of course Netflix. Now Netflix is a bit of a mixed bag over here because the animations are much better on the Android phones. Nevertheless, the Xiaomi picks up its eighth point over there, but going into my profile, the iPhone picks up its 12th point, being quite a bit quicker than that of the Xiaomi. Now to run into Geekbench version five over here, starting with benchmarks, just two benchmarks this time around, 13 points for the iPhone after opening up the benchmark quicker than that of the Xiaomi. But now running the benchmark, speeding things up at the bottom right hand corner and slowing things back down, the iPhone did it in one minute and 47.5 seconds, as opposed to the two minutes and 34.5 seconds on the Android device, that being the Xiaomi 12 Pro. The Xiaomi 12 Pro had a significantly lower single and multi-core score, but still pretty impressive in terms of Android. And thanks of course to that new Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset, I must say, that 1700 single score points on the iPhone is impressive to say the least. Hopping into 3D Mark Wildlife, now testing out the five core graphics on the iPhone as opposed to the Adreno 730 on the Xiaomi over here, which one is gonna take the cake in terms of graphics rendering? And I usually do normal wildlife that renders at 1440p resolution, but because there seems to be a bit of a 60 FPS cap on every benchmark on 3D Mark Wildlife, we're gonna be doing wildlife extreme. now. Running unlimited mode keeps things off screen. We want it to be on screen, so unlimited mode is off on both devices over here. Speeding things up, bottom right hand corner, rendering at 4K by the way. We got 15.3 FPS on the Xiaomi, but it did do it quicker than that of the iPhone at one minute and 10.5 seconds as opposed to one minute and 21 seconds, but the iPhone got a higher FPS of 17.8 rendering at 4K resolution, which is impressive, pretty similar between them, but the Xiaomi still got the point because this is a speed test and it went through the app quicker. It's not about the overall FPS score. The iPhone smacks back pretty quick though, opening up Subway Surface quicker than that of the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Now picking up at 16th point, seven points ahead of the Xiaomi over here. Probably one of the worst tests I've seen for Xiaomi going up against an iPhone in terms of speed test. Going into Temple Run 2, our next game over here, the iPhone picks up at 17th point, now an eight point advantage over the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Only two apps left. So so I guess it's safe to say already that the Xiaomi is not quicker than Apple's latest and greatest iPhone 13 Pro Max. Going into Among Us, however, which one is gonna take the cake? And it is indeed the Xiaomi this time around, finally picks up a double digit point here, that being 10 points, now just seven points behind the iPhone 13 Pro Max, but it is safe to say that it can't win in round two. Hopping into our last game here, our last app of the 20, PUBG Mobile, the longest game to load over here. The iPhone does it in 14.5 seconds, picking up its 18th points as opposed to the 19 seconds on the Xiaomi. Closing off round two with 10 points on the Xiaomi as opposed to 18 points on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And moving into round three, which is where we should see some decent optimizations from Xiaomi. So far, so good in terms of round three RAM management, they're keeping all apps open in the background, all system apps that is, with photos over there and going into Photoshop Express. Also, nope, the iPhone gets it and the Xiaomi 
12 Pro killed it in the background. Same with Adobe Premiere Rush over there, giving the iPhone two points, now three points after the Xiaomi killed Spotify and the iPhone kept it open. They both kept Astral open and the iPhone kept Chrome open while the Xiaomi killed it. And the iPhone kept Facebook open while the Xiaomi killed it, giving the iPhone five points in round three. And the rest of the apps, the Xiaomi surprisingly kept open perfectly fine. Pretty weird over there. Hopefully this does get fixed with future software updates, though Xiaomi is known for bad RAM management and optimizations, and it doesn't seem like things have really changed here, but hopefully this can be patched like I mentioned with future software updates. And just to let you guys know, we do have twice the amount of RAM on the Xiaomi and it's using better modules at LPDDR5 as opposed to the LPDDR4X on the iPhone. And ending off round three over here, as you can see, five points for the iPhone as opposed to zero for the Xiaomi. And now we're gonna test out the temperatures at the end of the test now, so that we can see which one gained the most in terms of degrees Celsius here. And it was of course the Xiaomi adding 17.8 degrees in Celsius, ending off with 48 degrees and the iPhone iPhone ended off with just 39.8 degrees and only adding 11.9 degrees in Celsius. Now in terms of battery drain, the Xiaomi drained by 7%, whereas the iPhone drained by 4%. And since the iPhone has a smaller battery at 4,352 milliamps, as opposed to the 4,600 milliamp hour cell inside the Xiaomi, the Xiaomi did a hell of a lot worse in terms of milliamp hour per minute drain, being 20.13 as opposed to the iPhone's 10.88. The iPhone is literally twice as more efficient as the Xiaomi over here, but looking at the total score, 11 points for the Xiaomi as opposed to 26 for the iPhone. And if we focus just on round two, just on raw performance over here, the Xiaomi got 10 points as opposed to the 18 points on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I really hope that things can improve in terms of optimizations for Xiaomi as well as all Android devices going forward. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. This is Technic and I'll catch you in the next one.